On October 7th, Hamas terrorists murdered nearly 1,200 people including over 40 Americans. The Department of Justice taking steps to hold suspected terrorists accountable, announcing charges against new Hamas leader Yahya Sinwar and five other top Hamas officials. The charges unsealed today are just one part of our effort to target every aspect of Hamas's operations. These actions will not be our last. Although these charges are largely symbolic, Sinwar is in hiding and at least three of the other defendants are believed to be dead. If we've known all this stuff about Hamas all this time while they were conspiring to kill Americans, why wasn't this, why weren't these charges brought like four years ago when the people were still alive? But Hamas is not the only terror group the U.S. is focused on. ISIS is also resurging. What you see is some facilitation across the franchises. ISIS Khorasan out of Afghanistan, the ISIS in the central region of Syria coming back and being more capable to include spectacular attacks. These factions are in part focused on freeing more than 9,000 ISIS militants held in Syrian prisons. Sunday, U.S. forces and Syrian partners captured an ISIS leader helping detainees escape. The operation highlights CENTCOM's ongoing efforts to support our SDF partners to mitigate threats of future escapes and to ensure the enduring defeat of ISIS. While experts say ISIS is regaining strength, their numbers are still low, and there is no imminent threat of a major attack on American soil. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.